What's going on you guys, this is MXKD, I have another Dell Optiplex 790 small form factor and this video is a disassembly teardown, show you guys how to do that. So first you're going to remove the side cover panel right here, there's a little latch, stick your finger like this. Okay, remove the latch here and the side cover panel, lift it up, comes right out. Now, what you guys need is uh, wear latex gloves and get a Phillips screwdriver. And you might need a flat screwdriver too, flathead screwdriver. So latex gloves, Phillips screwdriver, and a flathead screwdriver. That's all you need. Okay, so we're going to start off from the optical drive. We're going to remove and a little clip right here. You lift it up with your finger like this to lift it up. And your, your hard drive, okay, hard, this is optical drive, it slides right out. So you're going to disconnect the SATA and power cable and remove the optical drive. And it comes right out just like that. Now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go ahead and remove the hard drive cage and you can disconnect the stadium power right here from the hard drive and you're going to this little right here you see the latch clip right here the secret clip the whole this is locks down the hard drive cage and what it does is uh, you're going to turn take your finger right here and turn it to the left and what that will do is unlock the hard drive cage so you can release it this means right locked left means unlocked so and what you do is take your finger and lift it up like that and it comes right out and you can disconnect the hard drive from the hard drive it's in the cage and the hard drive caddy right here the plastic caddy just lift the this bench right here and it comes right out of the hard drive now what we're going to do is remove the front cover basil here and what you're going to do is little finger here see little clips right here really gently lift them up like this and then your hard drive front cover base that comes right out and it's a Dell Optiplex 790 this is the small foam factor and what we're gonna do guys is uh, remove the memory here now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to remove the power supply. Just remove this little plastic right here that holds to the power supply. And what we're gonna do is disconnect the four pin right there. See for the power. It's got a little secure clip right here. So you take your finger like this and remove it. And it should come right out. Let's see this little secure clip. So you press on it and release it, it comes right out. So we got that disconnected. Now what we have to disconnect is the 24 pin right here where the motherboard is at it's going to be in the bottom right there so what you're going to do is it's got a clip right here too in the middle right here see what the clip is right here so you're going to take your finger right here and on the middle press your finger right here the little clip press it down to release the lock it's going to be right there can you see to release it and it comes right out just like that be really gently and see the little clip right here, two right there in the middle. That's what you have to press on your finger to release the secure clip right here, lock. And now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna switch it to the other side like this, and we have to remove the the four or three screws here from the power supply. And let's see. So just use a Phillips screwdriver to remove the three screws here. So we just remove the three screws here and what we have to do is I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the other side like this so you guys can see better. So a little, little latch right here for the PCI bracket secure clip. Just lift this up like this and you're going to move the PCI brackets low profile right here. and. What we're going to do is remove the power supply to do that. There's, I'll show you guys what you have to do. There's a little clip right here, the secure clip. I have to lift this up the computer, you guys can see better. You see right there in the bottom where I'm pointing my screwdriver right there? A little clip right here, the blue color. You're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to press on the clip, the secure clip. You're going to press it down so we can slide the power supply and remove it. Because if you don't press on, you can't remove the power supply. It's like a secure clip right here locks the power supply so prevent from removing if they remove the screws here so you press down the clip secure clip and you take your finger right here and uh, just and it slides right out the power supply will come out 
So now what we're gonna do is remove the power supply really easy. Disconnect the SATA and power cable, the SATA cables here. And what you're gonna do is just comes right out the power supply. So I'm just gonna lay it down here. So we removed the power supply. Now what we have to do is uh you see the little the screw right here? This holds the hard drive cage right here, so you're gonna take your flathead screwdriver and get that one removed too. And now disconnect the internal speaker right here, the wire. And you're gonna disconnect uh, the, the front, uh, looks like the system fan right here. That thing has a clip on it too, secure clip right here. So what you have to do is take your finger right here, right in the middle, you have to press your finger to release the clip right here, the lock. So you can remove it. So okay, so we got that removed. Now what we have to do is uh, well, let's go ahead and we're gonna want to go ahead and remove the the processor heatsink fan here. We're gonna disconnect the fan right here too, and it's got the same thing with the clipper here, secure clip in the middle. You have to press on it with your finger to release it. And you're gonna be using a Phillips screwdriver. And you're gonna move the four screws. There's two screws in the bottom, two in the top. Yeah, I already did a video guys at Dell Optiplex 790, but it's a desktop. It's not a small phone factor, so it's not the same. It's a different motherboard that they use. So we're gonna go ahead and get the, the top screws removed right here and two in the bottom. And the heat sink should come right out. So just make sure you unscrew it. And what you have to do is stick your finger like this and you're gonna lift it up. And it should come right out really easy. And there's another that's still locked here. So we have to unscrew the other screws on the top here. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take your finger like this and you lift it up like that and the heat sink processor of color will come out right out. Like that. And the way you put it in back is gonna have little two mounting holes right here you will see right there. It's right, gonna be right there, you can't miss it, and you're gonna put it back in really easy, just like that, because it'll have cutting holes for this attachments. So, we got the, so we got the processor, cooling, heatsink fan removed. Now, what we have to do is disconnect the front right here. Look, look, the front panel right there. Now, what I'm gonna do guys is I'm gonna put this switcher to the other side and remove this before we remove the motherboard. It's holds by one screw right here, so use a Phillips screwdriver right here to remove it. It's got a one screw, only use by one one screw right there. And all it does is really easy, just stick your finger like this and uh, slides it and comes right out. Slides to the right like this. And then remove it in the front. This is for the front USB and audio. And it's right there, you guys can see. And what we're gonna, is gonna do is we're gonna remove the, the internal speaker right there. It's got a little clip right here. Can you see what I'm pointing my finger is right there? So what you're gonna do is you take like this little, you press on the clip, or lift it up a little bit and it comes right out like that. And you press to the right and it comes right out. Internal speaker. Okay, we got that removed. Now, let's see. I'm gonna go ahead and start off from the system fan right here. You guys can see better. Let me move it up here. Okay, so system fan right here. To get that removed, we have to, let me try to move it up. You guys can see better. Uh, it's got a rubber here. It's not using screws, so you're gonna take your finger like this and it will come right out really easy. Just like that. Okay, now, 
what we have to do is we're going to remove the motherboard and we have to use a Phillips screwdriver and it's got a one, two, three, four, five, six, total six screws, three in the top, three in the bottom. Just use a Phillips screwdriver. And there's one screw right here. You have to get that in the move in the corner right there. And there'll be three screws here in the top. So it's got total six screws. And what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna disconnect the front panels, front front switch right here. This is for the power switch. You see right there, it's gonna be in the top right corner. So you have to get that disconnected too, right here. It's gonna be the uh, top right corner right there. And to pull the motherboard, so what you're gonna do is you take your finger like this, and it will come right out. You lift it up like this, really gently, and it'll come right out. And we're gonna do go ahead and move the battery socket battery here. So you're gonna take a flathead screwdriver, see a little clip right here, and it comes right out just like that, really easy. And we're gonna move the processor. So remove the processor now. That's about it, you guys. Uh, remove the motherboard and uh, let's see what else. That's about it. So we remove everything else on here. There's nothing else to remove here. So yeah, guys. Yeah, guys. This is the end of the video. This is for the Dell Optiplex 790 Small Phone Factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.